everyone, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to show you how to blend oil paint through a very simple demonstration creating some color gradients. If you already know what you're doing with oil paint, obviously this video is not for you. This is more for beginners and people who are just starting out or considering starting out. For all the basics of oil painting, please refer to my basics of oil painting video where I explain all of that. Also understand that no video out there is going to magically give you a painting technique. You're going to have to practice a lot on your own terms to develop your own style, get comfortable with your process, and figure out what you like. There's a lot of information on the internet, so don't just take my example as the only one, but I do hope that it helps a little bit for anyone who is new to oils. In this video, I'm going to be working with Gamzol as my solvent and a glass palette to mix my colors. As for the colors, I'm going to use Cadmium Lemon, Quinacridone Red, and Ultramarine Blue. All of these work really well as primaries, and I'm also going to use a bit of titanium white. I have a little lid from a jar where I put a tiny bit of Gamzol in, and you'll see me gradually dip my brush in there to pick up a little bit of it to mix in with my paint. So I started out by mixing ultramarine blue with a little bit of titanium white, then I painted a blue horizontal strip in the canvas. You can grab a new brush or clean off the one you're using for the next color. Then I took quinacridone red and added a bit of titanium white and painted another horizontal strip across the canvas, leaving some space in between the previous color where I will be creating the transition. Then on my palette, I started mixing that color with the previous blue color and bringing that into the gap. Something else I tend to do in my work a lot is bring in a dry brush to dab over anything I want to smooth out and soften. So that is what I did here. And I do this a lot in my work. It really helps things be a lot more faded and hazy. It kind of eliminates some of the brush strokes, unless you're going for that, which by all means, but if you want to make something smooth, getting a dry brush over the surface really helps. Next it was time for the yellow, which I also brought in a tiny bit of titanium white and then painted another horizontal strip and gradually mixing in a little bit of red to help create that transition. And I just bring the brush back and forth and the colors blend together as I paint. As you can see, it's a little bit difficult to explain, as simple as it is but hopefully the example just can show you visually what happened. Then I cleaned off that same brush and gently brushed over that transition again without any color on it to smooth it out even more. I brought in more yellow towards the bottom and just kept building up that gradient. Next it was time to paint the green part, so I added yellow to the blue and gradually kept adding more yellow towards the top to make it more and more green. And then I also went back and just smoothed things out even more with the other colors. Again, there's no particular order, obviously I'm just painting this as an example for fun, so if you want to do a different color order, feel free, don't get too technical with it. So here's a closer view on another gradient I'm painting, which is a little bit more like pastel colors. I'm using a lot of titanium white this time, and I'm adding some quinacridone red to create this very soft pink color, then adding a bit more quinacridone red and bringing that into the lighter color on my canvas as I'm painting. And in the same way, I brought in blue gradually to make it more purple until it's actually blue and also yellow. So if you are completely lost and don't know where to start, I think focusing on playing with the paint initially, like creating abstract stuff and practicing blending will help you get a lot more comfortable with painting. Don't just jump into trying to do something really complex. Just kind of play with the paint first and get comfortable. Um, I think if you're a little bit intimidated by it, it's a great way to get a feel for the medium and how the paint works. That's basically how I started. So this is a very simplified version of how I blend paint to create my work, especially that dry brush part. I use that a lot and I hope this video has been helpful to anyone who needed it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. Please let me know what other kinds of oil painting tutorials you would like to see and I will see you in my next video. Bye.